What up my peeps, how's it going? Today we're going to be looking at the mount uh, mod that there is out there so you can get this little item when you want to pick up your specific mount so you can swap between them quite fast. It is a really nifty add-on so shout out to Friendly Fire for doing this. His project is up on uh, GitHub if you want to download it. I put the link down in the description down below and right next I'm going to show you a, s a quick tutorial on how to get this up and running so you can select your mounts with this beautiful UI menu that just makes your life a lot easier. Also don't forget that you can uh, just keep bind your buttons directly so that you can select them by just pressing a specific button but I also like this option right here and I wish that ArenaNet actually puts it up as its own thing. So yeah, stick around, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you soon. So in order to download the mount add-on, it's quite easy. You just go to the link in the description where you can find the GitHub link. Scroll down to the bottom, and you have the Guild Wars 2 mount zip. Don't bother with these two unless you want to check out the actual code, but that's just how they've done it. And you download the Guild Wars 2 mounts zip, you open it up, copy the DLL here, so D3, D9, DLL, that's all you need. Copy that. Go to wherever your Guild Wars 2 folder is, so that should be under your computer, Program Files, Guild Wars 2. Open the folder bin64 and just paste that in there. Now, in my case, I'm not going to do it because I already have it in there, but all you need to do is copy it in there, and that's you set up. Now, there's one last thing you need to do in order for it to work in-game. If you check they had a readme file which reads the following so once you place the file in bin 64 directory you need to run the game so when you run the game you need to press shift alt and m all together all at the same time and what that will do is that will bring up the menu where you can configure your keybinds now, it's very important that you keybind each mount specifically first, otherwise it's not going to work. So I'll go over that really quickly. So once you're inside the game, you're going to click Shift, Alt, and M all at the same time. And then you're going to set the overlay keybind. This is the keybind, so for example, L and I put the the button next to L there for me because I don't use those buttons. So if I click L it's going to pop up the menu wherever I have the mouse and the other option is to automatically open it in the center. Mind you that moves your mouse as well so you might not want to use this one or just do like I did and set both of them up whatever is, feels right. So the first one is wherever the mouse is the other one is where the center is locked as it says over there. Now you can select it to show the fifth mount. I don't have it unlocked, so there's no point in me doing it. Um, and then on top of that, you gotta put your mount keybinds. So you need to set your keybinds first before you actually uh, have this working. You can you can set them up here before you go and set them up in the actual um, menu here. But in any case, they need to match up, otherwise it's not gonna work properly because it's basically gonna press that button whenever you click towards the raptor, or towards the skimmer, towards the, the springer, towards the jackal, whatever. So to do that you go to control options, scroll down, go all the way to mounts. Here you can keybind each specific mount. So what I've done is in the keypad I put number four so that's arrow left for the raptor arrow up so number eight for the springer arrow to the right number six for the jackal and arrow down number two for the skimmer so once I got those set up I went and did the exact same thing here so that they match up and now 
every time I press L, so that was the button I selected, or the semicolon, so that's the other button I, I set up, as you can see here, so L or semicolon, so whenever I press those, I get this menu that pops up with the mounts to use, right? So, for example, if I press that, that gives me the Raptor. If I press this one, it'll give me the Skimmer. If I press up, it'll give me the Springer. And if I press to the side, it'll give me the Jackal. So that's it. I hope this was a useful tutorial for you guys back home. Uh, it's pretty easy to install it. Uh, it's just a setting up that takes slightly longer and even then it's pretty easy. And yeah, hope this was useful. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more con content like this. And don't forget to like the video if this was useful for you and share it with your friends if you think they'll like it as well. That said, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.